The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Whosoever hears this audio, if they be worthy, shall possess the inside human and superhuman abilities of the world's mightiest metahumans. Accompanying his journey of high quality nerd commentary, we got my man Colton, aka Pizza Parker. Talk to the people. Yo, it's your boy Colton, aka the one, aka the two, aka the three, mm. aka the four, and the five. <laughs> I play, every, I'm in every position, positionless, <laughs> positionless matrix. <laughs> we also have the greatest engineer in the entire multiverse, my man Gas. Say what's up? Yo, yo, what's up? Yeah, and uh, you know, it's your boy Dennis, aka Old Dirty Dennis, aka he is the one, the number one stunner, aka, aka there is no pod, aka, aka, you know what, aka Yerfius, aka, <clears throat> aka the architect. <clears throat> let me let me see if I can bring the architect, Neo. Understanding the basic principalities of the Matrix requires all subjects to fuck with the pod. Ergo, we are the shit. <laughs> aka. A.K. Jolly Saint Zick for the baddies, you know what I mean? A.K. Nah, I'm just playing. A.K. You know, I'm looking for my Trinity. That's all three holes. A.K. <laughs> A.K. <laughs> you just caught it. A.K. <laughs> Barred these niggas up. A.K. Co-host of the number one podcast in Zion. You feel me? <laughs> well, it's welcome. getting dirty. It's you know sweaty I mean? down here. <laughs> Yo, welcome to another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans podcast. How you fellas feeling? What's going on? I mean, I'm feeling great, man. I'm chilling. I'm uh, I just came off of <laughs> for the past two days. I've been streaming Pokemon. Yeah, I I could honestly say I I did like nine you? hours of God streaming damn. Pokemon. <laughs> like, this nigga's Ash. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to catch them all, man. I'm on six badges right now. What Twitch, are you doing? Twitch.tv. What game is that? Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Oh, okay. It's the remake. Uh, oh, some new shit. Yes, yeah, it's and it's an old shit, but new shit. They remade the old shit. You know how they do now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm on six badges. Woo. What are you doing? Cr- you doing speed runs? Uh, I, I guess I'm kind of speed running, but not really. I'm also being a highly aggressive Pokemon trainer, so I'm like <laughs> battling everybody that I see, and I'm also c- telling them to suck my dick and they trash and shit. <laughs> so it's it's a good run. I might put it up on a. Uh, I might put it up on my Twitch YouTube. I might also get some clips and send it to Dennis nice. to put it up on the Mighty Meta Human <laughs> shit. Twitch.tv backslash the culture show. I, I, I need to see that aggression. Like, hey, you got Pokemon? <laughs> Yo, this nigga got Pokemon. You trying to fight? I'm with the shits. <laughs> I feel it. Um, Actually, that was a good segue that you just mentioned. Um, Them taking old shit to make new shit. Because today we are talking about the Matrix. Know what I mean? Oh, um, man. Yeah, you know, we, Zion. yeah, we going back into the matrix. We leaving Zion, and we going back into the matrix. We all plugging in. So, That's um, a fact. <laughs> so to start, we gonna start off real simple. Uh, what is your favorite matrix scenes from the first one? I don't mm. know the last time you've seen it. I I, uh, you know, I watched it a little while the ago. The first, my favorite uh, matrix scene from the first one is that yeah. uh, catch a bullet. Ah, okay, okay. No, no, no. The, Actually, my my favorite scene from the first one. First I got a couple. one is not catch a bullet, right? Um, oh, it's when you he stops the bullet, right? Yeah, he stops the bullet. That is uh one of my favorite uh scenes from that first Matrix. My... First Matrix is more like when they were getting the first mission done and then they unplugged, right? Yeah. So for me, the first one is the intro with Trinity just being bad, just being a baddie, just wilding. Yeah, she she just came in with the with the bike, blew shit up. Started wilding on the agents and shit. I thought that shit was mad hard. I feel like the song Ride or Die was for Trinity, bro. She was mad Ride hard. Ride or Yo. Die. <laughs> she was going crazy. Yeah, like she was She was going hard. Um, Let me see what else they had in the war. Oh, another Trinity moment when um she put the she put the yopper to that to that agent's head and was like, yo, dodge this. Oh, like, that shit, was like, yeah. Boom, dodge this, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> you can't dodge she, this she, shit. Yeah, she has, she, has um, she has some OD moments. Um, Let me see. Uh... The free your mind jump from uh, Morpheus that they turned that shit into a meme. <laughs> free your mind jump is amazing. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, 
Oh, all right. Let's go to the second one. Do you have uh, like the second one was hard? Like the fight scenes, like that whole highway scene was like one nigga, long. Did y'all continuous skip scene. over the whole shit where this nigga was inside the shit and this nigga was talking to him and he was sweating crazy? Y'all skip that scene. Which, about? which one? Which one? That's which the first one. About? I can't remember. Tell me, Morpheus. He's sitting in the chair, uh-huh. sweating his balls off. Oh, and they torturing this nigga. Yo. You tell me that's not one of the best scenes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had him in the building. You right, you right. This nigga was standing ten toes. You can't. <laughs> he was ten toes. Nah, that's some gangster like shit. That was some gangster shit. Yeah, that was some gangster shit. Second movie. Uh, scene, nah, that was, scene was hard. Uh, him was him fighting himself, mad of, of the Agent Smiths. In yeah, the yeah, park. yeah. That looked like a PS one. Yo, <laughs> the I love PS1 that shit. Graphic. The PS the PS two <laughs> graphic fight scene in the park where he fought a million Agent Smiths and the nigga. Put the fucking pole on the ground <laughs> and ran on these niggas' yeah. chats, nigga, and was running on niggas. Cisco ran on bit jump, yeah, yeah. ran on bitches, but Neo, Neo ran, ran on, on ages, chests, nigga. ran on ages' <laughs> chest. That shit is crazy, son. Always remember that. That is a crazy part in history. Yo, does that mean Cisco's the one though? He yo, might, Cisco yo. might be the one. <laughs> he might be. Yo, you know that's coming. That's actually. A uh, movie coming to Dennis Plus is Cisco, Cisco as the Neo. The <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, another like I said, another fight scene from um the second one. That was a longer fight scene when they did like the uh uh the highway scene when uh Neo was chasing after at the Morpheus and they had to fight the twins with like the little knives oh, the that could twins, dissipate. Like the ghost twins yeah, thing, the yes. ghost twins, and they was wilding on them niggas. And then uh Trinity had the bike. And then they were about to crash into us. the uh, episode that we talk about how there's vampires and ghosts and maybe yeah, yeah, we going we, we going hard with everything. this, bro. We going hard with this. And like they they the the two tractor trailers crashed into some Morpheus shit and Neo saved them niggas at the last moment on some Superman shit and flew them niggas away. That shit was hard, son. At least for the time, because when you go back now and you look at the graphics, it was just like, yo, this some shit I could do on my phone. Like, <laughs> like the graphics was like weak. But at the time, that shit was like amazing, son. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, go ahead. The Matrix is the Matrix is nuts. It's the Matrix one of is those, crazy, son. Uh, I don't really remember the last movie, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm the 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 key things I remember in the last one was where he get tied up by the aliens. Yeah, yeah. and the and they got the, him on some BDSM shit. <laughs> yeah, OD BDSM shit. And the 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 fight in Zion with like the mechs because the 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 machines was coming through. Like breaking into Zion or whatever, and they were trying to uh, stop them, and they had like no chance because them niggas came like squatted up <laughs> with like a hundred fucking million uh, machines. Um, the the Dragon Ball Z fight, I know you remember that shit. Oh, the Dragon the Ball Z fight, yeah, I do remember the Dragon. <laughs> but them Ball Z niggas fight. went crazy at the end. That shit was crazy. Um, I gotta fuck with the Dragon Ball Z fight. Yeah, the Dragon Ball Z fight was hard because niggas was looking at this like, yo, how the fuck we get Dragon Ball Evolution? And Neo is over here doing all this crazy shit. Like they let that shit just rock. Like that was crazy to me. I mean, it's Neo, man. <laughs> Feel me? It's one of those things where it's just like, damn, we gotta, we gotta let my boy go off. I that Dragon Ball Z fight is mad funny to me. Plot armor. <laughs> that shit is just hilarious to me. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but I actually don't hate it. So yeah, I don't hate it. Like, cause I mean. <sighs> It made sense the way they ended the movie with the fight because he was just like, yo, you was always right. Like, you were always supposed to win. Like, me fighting you doesn't make any sense. Like, you were supposed to kill me and uh, us together was supposed to, like, reboot the Matrix. I thought that shit was like... Uh, it made sense. True, 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 true. And it's just that Neo f- figured it out at the end. Like, I've been fighting this nigga for three movies for nothing. Like, if I had just let this nigga win, we got the shit over with. Like... At the end of Matrix 1. Well, not Matrix 1, because he needed to become the one. And like Matrix 2, if he had just gave up, it would have been over. Like, yeah, it would have been set- done. <laughs> they could have settled that shit already. Um, okay, so we're going to skip forward, because the only other thing I had to say about the actual Matrix movie itself was, I remember when that shit came out, and they they introduced like the bullet time and all that other crazy shit, and like the whole layering of, you know... Are we all really in a simulation with some mind blowing shit? Because I was a kid at the time, and I was like, "Yo, wait, what the fuck are these niggas talking about? Like, what do you mean we like in a simulation? Like, 
And ever since then, like in the back of my head, it's just like, yo, what if though? <laughs> what, what if we're in assimilation? Yeah, what I mean, if I feel though? like uh, the assimilation is out of whack if we are in assimilation right now. But I feel like that that kind of explains it. It's just like, yo, like a lot of wild, like wild shit happened. It was just like, yo, may, maybe we are in assimilation. Actually, that's a good question. If we were in assimilation, what are, you can give me three if you want. Three things that you felt like, okay, this makes sense that we in assimilation. Because I got my three off, off rip. Uh, okay. Number one, just politics in general. <laughs> politics in general, like, just showed me, like, the simulation is is for real, for real. <laughs> like, they just stopped. Like, I don't know. I feel like their software just didn't update for <laughs> so long that now they're in dire need of an update. <laughs> and they're, like, so, like, out of date, like, that <laughs> their AI is out of whack. And, like, so much crazy shit is just happening at one time. Like, I feel like... We've seen like speeches from like Trump, from like Biden, from like yeah. all just all politicians in general. <laughs> and it's almost been unbelievable the things that they just say. Exactly. Or they try to say. That's, That's one. like my my first thing. Just okay. politics in general. The second thing would be how everyone's reacting to the pandemic. <laughs> like that's my second thing. Like that showed like the simulation is just fucked. Somebody like, knows something. <laughs> the toilet paper shit that happened was crazy. Like when everybody was wilding on toilet paper. Right. Um the the vaccine arguments are fucking crazy. Like this whole pan like the way the government handled it. Yeah. Uh all the theories of where it came from, 5G, <laughs> the bat, like yo, all that shit is just like it's just like a bunch of simulation type shit. Like the simulation kind of got out of whack. Exactly. And like it's just so much crazy shit. And then, the, and then the last thing is, you're going to laugh at this, but comic book movies running everything. <laughs> that was a part of the simulation that I did not see happening. Like everything just flipped like kind of topsy-turvy kind of on his head. Right. The second Feige and them got up in this building. <laughs> It ain't been right shit. since, yeah. And ever since, the shit hasn't been right. Like, I'm going to be honest. Ever since, shit has not been right. It's all Tony Stark fault. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right. So, I'm going to give you more than three because I actually had a couple. Um, okay. I'm going to agree with you. Uh, my first was definitely Trump winning the election. Yeah. I felt like something was just Politics like... in general. Just, something's yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. So, it ain't right. My second, I feel like nobody talked about is when the fuck... Like, when it happened, it was just like, yo, what... When... When did these two even meet? Like, why did Adele date Skepta, bro? Like, that was just... <laughs> Nigga, the greatest thing that ever happened in the history of, of mankind. What yeah. do you mean? You, you she got to skinny and she yeah. was like, bitch, I'm a bad bitch. What do you mean? Y'all, y'all ain't feel like, yo, I'm not in assimilation. Like, when did this just, like... I mean, now she with Rick Paul, so it's like the assimilation continues, boy. <laughs> The like simulation that was some, continues. That was some no, that's real... Adele. Put some respect on her name. Nah, she a boss. She's she definitely not she a boss, boss, but I'm just saying, like Adele, son. If, Beyonce, what are you talking I'm, about? All I'm saying is, if I was asleep, that shit would have woke me up. I'd have been like, yeah, all right, come on. Like, you really want me to believe, like, someone's not, like, fucking with me in a dream or some shit? Um, next to my list, J.P. Morgan Coke Book. I, I'm never going to get over this shit. Like, it was a Coke Book. Ran by J.P. Morgan and Chase <laughs> that just disappeared and we just never talked about it again. Like, I'm never going to let that go. Next on my list, the fact that the world just, I mean, aside from climate change, we just skipped fall this year. Like, it was just like hot <laughs> and then just cold. We did skip fall. We did skip fall. <laughs> fall is completely... Fall was mad hot. <laughs> and now niggas are seeing flurries. It didn't even rain like that for real. Yeah, Yo. like... You try and, and then remember the one time it rained, niggas, it got flooded. Exactly. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? The simulation. Um, you see where nigga I'm going? Right. Nigga is right, guys. Yeah, continue. <laughs> Let me see what else. The McRib. Okay. I feel like nobody says anything about like what the fuck is the McRib? I can't get a a clear indication of what the McRib is. Man. It's definitely a simulation based <laughs> food. <laughs> like it's just. Like niggas act you ask somebody, they just be like, yo, it's the McRib. Okay, but what is it? Like, where did it that come shit from? is mystery meat. <laughs> shit key. is Pokemon meat, bro. Like, wh- what the fuck is the McRib, son? Um, let me see. And my final uh thing that makes me believe that we are in assimilation is the fact that the Simpsons is always right. 
<laughs> something is really fucking weird about that. <laughs> like these niggas keep nailing certain things like mad years in advance. Like you shouldn't know some shit like 15 years in advance. Like it's not like some recent season and shit. They they pull shit from like season 10. They be, you be like, yo, like wait. how you did that? <laughs> they be knowing the Super Bowl. Bro, be like, how the fuck you know that? <laughs> Weirdos. Yo, like I, I don't know, son. Some shit don't seem right about that. Um, oh, also, Sinbad and Shazam. That is some that is 100 percent some simulation shit. That's why we can't prove it. <laughs> the whole Berenstein, Berenstein Bear shit. Oh, just the Mandela effect. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah. That's all fucking matrix, man. Like we stuck in a loop. Uh let me see what else I got for y'all. Okay, here's a real here's a good one. What what do you believe in as much as Morpheus believed in Neo? Because nobody could tell Morpheus that Neo wasn't the one. Even when this nigga was fucking up, he was like, yo, no, I believe in he is the one. Like, what's some shit you believe in like that deeply? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what I believe in that deeply is one piece is overrated. I'll give you that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Also, it's gonna get niggas tight. I don't care. <laughs> we in a simulation, nigga. Wake up. <laughs> uh, what do I believe in? Like more of his when Neil was the one. Hmm. I'm gonna give you another one. Why? Yeah. Why you? Uh, why you think that up? Um, I believe that Wolverine two in hindsight wasn't as bad as we thought. I went back and I watched it, and it was I right. like it wasn't trash the way niggas was killing it. Oh, boom! I got it. Mm-hmm. I believe Batman should kill. <laughs> and I, I believe Batman it. does kill. <laughs> he do kill, but I believe he should. I believe he should get that fucking rule out of his fucking head, nigga. And get some of these niggas out the paint. They don't need to be here. 100, uh, 100 nigga. 1,000 wild percent. But that's, I stand on that, nigga. Like I anything. Like, nigga, I'm the Morpheus of that shit. I leave behind Batman like, you must kill. You must murder. <laughs> I believe uh, the Dennis Plus streaming service is going to be a success in 2023. I also believe, and this is not this is not a hot take. I just like if if you ask me if I believe in anything more, I don't think I believe anything more than this. I believe that the Night Deviant is not only uh, if you put a, a clip together of all his greatest moments, it's not only longer, but it's also more entertaining than Boba Fett has done. Across nine movies <laughs> and a series, okay. <laughs> this nigga, got a, Fett yeah. so much, son. This nigga Boba nigga Fett so got like a TikTok reel of a fucking highlights, bro. Like, it's, are yeah, you yeah, serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get this nigga out of here. <laughs> nigga hates Boba Fett so much. It don't like. Damn, yo, nigga, what yo, he doing nigga, to you? Yo, all the niggas that believe Boba Fett is nice is stuck in the simulation, my nigga. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, <laughs> the niggas else? gonna wake up. I probably got some more, some more uh, things that I believe in. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I believe that Marvel needs to get off fuck to- get off Tony Stark's fucking dick one thousand percent. Like it was one of the biggest mistakes they ever made was making Spider Man's whole arc about being on Tony Stark's dick. That nigga is dead. He's a pack. He's in the ground. We don't need him here anymore. Put that yeah, we don't need him. We dead don't need him. Like he's a pack. Move on. Spider Man is Spider Man. He is not Iron Man Jr. He's never been Iron Man Jr. Get off his dick. God damn. <sighs> that's oh, it. shit. Nah, this right, this nigga is the Morpheus of that shit. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> that shit gets me so mad. And like, watch, watch. This ne- no, I'm not even going to talk about it. Let's just keep going. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Let me see if I got one more. Um, I believe Popeyes and Wendy's fries are underrated. I think them shit slap. Especially Popeyes, the Cajun fries. I feel like that's mad underrated. Like niggas, niggas, just like you talked about, like the whole fucking um, Iron Man shit. Honestly, and you could take it as a hot take. I feel like niggas got to get off McDonald's fries, dick. Like you just gotta <laughs> let you just get off. Like I it agree. don't it don't slap the way it used to, bro. Like, I agree. It don't it don't nostalgia slap. headlock. Exactly, exactly. Nostalgia got these niggas in a tight head grip. Like no, this shit don't slap no more. Get off McDonald's, dick. Like we moving on. <laughs> let me see what else I got for y'all. Um, oh, here's a good question. Uh, what if we rebooted the Matrix starring the Night Deviant? 
<laughs> oh shit. And it. he yeah, get into it. Tell me give me give me some highlights of what what take place in this uh rebooted Matrix. I guess Matrix 8. <laughs> Matrix 8 starring uh the Night Deviant as the new Neo. Uh <laughs> let me see. Well, <laughs> and this is coming to Dis- uh Dennis Plus by the way. Let me let me <laughs> let me paint this picture for y'all. Yeah. So basically I'm going to be my my Morpheus. Okay. It's gonna be the night deviant is gonna be at a sex shop, restocking. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get more of them dicks. You feel me? Okay. Pull up on these niggas. <laughs> I realized something's off. I'm like, yo, first of all, how I know these is real. <laughs> how do you know these real dicks? <laughs> how I know these is real. <laughs> these real fake dicks. Okay. How do I know these real? How do I know these <laughs> fake dicks exist in this plane? And then that's when Morpheus pulls up from the back. And he's like, come to the back. I have to talk to you. All right. So Gas is snoring as Morpheus. <laughs> Gas is Morpheus. Gas is like, come to the back. I have to talk to you. You need to take this red dildo. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Man. Yo, a nigga <laughs> taking you to the back room and ask you to take a you dildo take is nuts. Right dildo, you got to look him in the face and go, it's not that kind of party, man. Right? And then he goes... I know it's not what you think. He said you could either throw this red dildo in the air and make it explode, and nigga, then you'll be unlocked into the matrix, or you could throw this blue dildo up in the air and let it explode, and you stay here, nigga. Get back to work, and you go back to exploding dicks, nigga. And I go, I take both and I throw it in the air, and then they both explode at the same time. And then I start some whole new shit. <laughs> so now we're not even in the Matrix no more. We have some whole other shit now. Now we in half Matrix, half <laughs> fake, half simulation, nigga. Like, you never seen that before. Mm, okay, we now, doing some new shit. Now like we it. on a new journey. Yeah. <laughs> now we on a new journey to take out everybody with exploded <laughs> sex toys. Everybody. The robots. The people of Zion. <laughs> Because, you know, the night TV, you know what he do. He don't discriminate. Everybody gets this pain. <laughs> so now it's, now it's John Wick, basically. Yo. And the night TV is wild. Yo, the fact, just thinking about it for a second, the fact that machines coded fake dicks, it's, 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 it's in a simulation is nuts. <laughs> Yo, what are they doing? Yo, don't think it's just freakies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nobody talk about the shit that we have in the real world that supposedly the ma- the machines made. Like, yo, them niggas is wild, son. <laughs> yo, nah. They be wild. Oh, oh, shit. Fuck. Nah, that's some funny shit. But yes, that's definitely coming to uh, Dennis Plus. Um... You've seen the you've seen the trailer for the uh for the for the new uh Matrix, right? Matrix 4. You've seen it, right? Yeah, I've definitely seen the trailers. Okay. I've seen all of them actually. Nice. All right. Did you go on the website when it tells you what time it is? Yeah, that's some freaky shit. That shit was freaky as fuck. <laughs> Jamal, did you use that shit? No. Nah, I'm gonna send you I've the link. The that shit is but they have this shit. <laughs> it's the special where if trailer. You put it on in a website and you click on the red pill or the blue pill, they show you two separate like alternate teasers, right? But when you click the teaser. The nigga tells you what time it is, like, <laughs> accurately. You know, because it can read your cookies and shit. I understand how AI is working shit. That's, that shit's scary, though. Yeah, that shit yeah, was no. scary the first time I seen it. I was like, how does bitch do? How the fuck you do that, bitch? But yeah. Oh, shit. I did see the trailers, and I'm pretty excited. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Actually, before we jump into that, what would be, since we since we going into the Matrix now, what would be your Matrix fit? Hmm. Oh, shit. Let's go. <laughs> if niggas woke you up. And now when you go back into the Matrix to help wake other people up, what's your fit looking like? Okay. Okay. What's Boom. It? I got the perfect fit right now. Okay. Right? Nigga. I'ma have leather. Of course it's gotta be jeans. <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible, but let's go. Leather <laughs> boot cut <laughs> jeans, nigga. Slim straight. But you know the bottom's gotta have the flare for the that's, boot that's cut, true. right? That's true. That's true. I'ma have on. <laughs> The leatherest Tims you've ever seen in your life. Like patent leather. They're going to be shiny as shit, boy. They're going to be the shiniest Tims you've ever seen. With a steel toe. Okay. With a steel toe. <laughs> Got to have the steel toe for for when I do karate, fly, and kick action. You feel me? 
The bottom's got spikes. Okay. Definitely. But, of course. But, but you can't really see the spikes. It's still just like normal Tim's. They just super bad love it, nigga. I'm just super shiny, nigga. All right. Boom. I'm about to have a leather jacket, but it fits on me like how Yugi jacket fit. <laughs> You know, like how it's like yeah. tight in this section and then the bottom flare out mad crazy. <laughs> it's going to be like one of the Matrix coats. Like it's going to be long as fuck, but the top going to be like tight. So it's almost going to look like it's not a part of the jacket, <laughs> but it's a part of the jacket. I'm going full like Matrix nerd I, type I feel, shit. I like going it. Going crazy. I like it. I like and it. And then to top it all off, because R.P. my man, even though he's not dead, <laughs> R.P. Samuel Jackson. I'm a rock Kangol, a leather Kangol, nigga. A leather patent leather Kangol, nigga. Hold on, hold on. And then I got to get, and then I got to rock the, I don't know if y'all, y'all ever seen Gurren Logan. Yeah, I've seen it, I've seen I it. I got to get the, the all black Kamina shades. Yo, this thing is wild and son. And I'm in the <laughs> Matrix going crazy. <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> they like, we ain't never seen a nigga do no <laughs> shit like this. Whoa. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to give you my fit. It's very simple. Very straight to the point. I am wearing full leather version of my son, uh, Will I Am. From Wolverine, <laughs> Wolverine Origins. Okay. The whole fit in leather, bro. Black leather from head to toe. Like the cowboy boots that he had, the cowboy hat, oh, the whole shit. shit. You going crazy. <laughs> you dead going crazy. Yo, I'm gonna be the first person with leather fucking leather shades, bro. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the Prince joint. Leather shades? Leather shades, bro. Let's I'm, gonna go. have, <laughs> I'm gonna have the Yo, shit. We are breaking fashion. <laughs> we are fashion icons right now. That's what I feel. Like I'm gonna have the 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 um the three eye joint that Prince had, but I'm gonna get the whole shit done in leather, son. It's gonna be ridiculous. Damn, I'm gonna Damn get going crazy. In fact, I'm gonna shave like the left side of my head. I'm gonna get like the Mighty Meta Humans logo on the side, so I'm always repping the gang, even when I'm waking niggas up, son. It's <laughs> the first thing I do once they wake up. Be like, yo, you listen to pods? <laughs> I know it's your first day uh, awake in the real world, but yo, you fuck with pods? You like you like nerd pods? So first, as soon as niggas open their eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> before, before I even answer their questions, like, yo, what 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 the fuck? Hey, yo, you listen to pods, man? <laughs> 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 oh shit, yo gas, you got a fit? Nigga. <laughs> what you rocking? Well fucking. What's that shit? A trench coat? Purple trench, trench coat. coat. Definitely. <laughs> the le- leather purple trench coat. Okay. Oh, okay. You okay. Mean? I like it. I like it. Gotta have the Air Maxes, right? Mm, oh, shit. Okay. Right. right. With For the cushion. kick out blade. With the kick out blade. All I see. See? Nigga, we still told brothers. Yeah. That shit's crazy. He got the blade, though. Guys, continue. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> and then the rest, you gotta just be like, just... Suited out the Steve Harvey suits. You know? Steve okay. Harvey suit, that ass. yo, he's Morpheus. He got to rock the Steve Harvey suit. Yo, purple trench coat, purple yo. Steve Harvey suit. Yo, he gonna look like one of the fits Steve Harvey put yeah. on recently. <laughs> nigga gonna be fly as shit. Oh shit, this nigga gonna look like the Joker, but like waking niggas up, son. I fuck with that, nigga. You know what's crazy is <laughs> while Jamal is technically the most regular dressed out of all of us. <laughs> He is also the brightest motherfucker out yeah. of all of us. They're going to just be all purple down. Like, niggas going to be like, oh, shit. Look at this gang. Me, nigga, with the goddamn leather bootcut jeans, nigga. With the steel toe pad leather Timberlands. The Kango to match, nigga. The leather Kango with the Kamina shades. And the Yu-Gi-Oh jacket, nigga. But it's leather shit. with, with the fucking kick out flare in the back. That's what I'm saying. That's, That's where I pull like... the guns out. The flare in the back. Niggas going to be like, where his guns at? I'm like, look, I don't got nothing. So pow, nigga. Going crazy. <laughs> got these niggas. Oh, shit. No, that's hard as fuck. Um, <laughs> Those are good fits, man. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, we going into the Matrix now. I mean, uh, by the time you hear this, it should be the week of the new Matrix movie. Facts. And um, so we're going to talk about the trailer. And we're gonna, Actually, we're not just going to talk about the trailer. We're just going to give, like... You know what you think happens. What do you think is, is yeah. happening in the trailer? What we think is gonna happen in a movie? Facts. So well, uh, I'll let you start it off. Well, uh, mine's is kind of simple because from what I've seen, it seems like Neo is is. So I had two theories, and I think I'm gonna just 
shoot them both off to, for the sake of time. Um, my first one is the robots, the, the, the Sentinels. The Sentinels somehow has have gotten... Because Neo became one with the machine, right? And yeah. that was the way that they could live in harmony. I'm guessing some Sentinels somehow rebelled because they wasn't really fucking with it. And then they got to retrap him somehow. And they also trapped Trinity. Trinity mm-hmm. So that could get him a way to go back into the Matrix. And then there are some confusing parts. I do believe Yaya is like young Morpheus. Like because they say the Matrix always resets. Okay. And it has to do shit over. So uh-huh. I think Yaya is, is young Morpheus. And I believe that because Neo is in the machine and he's already kind of hyper aware. You, you mean the, the little girl? Huh? You talking about the little girl? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, the Who's black the guy, the bald guy. I think he's young Morpheus. I don't think he's a new character. I think he's like Morpheus um, because the Matrix always does a new cycle. So I'm you, you don't remember that little girl from... No, the, no, no. Uh, I think that girl in the trailer with the glasses is the little girl. She's the new Oracle. Okay. That's who. That's a, that's not Yaya, but do you believe she's the new Morpheus? No, no, no I think she's new code. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. But um, I do believe that Yaya has to redo Morpheus's path. But at this time, because Neo already kind of became one with the machines, and they're trying to stop him from rem- remembering somehow that he's gonna meet him earlier, and that's how they could kind of get away with more Lawrence Fishburne not being in the movie. And yeah, I just believe this is a, a a mission for Neo to remember that he is the one all over again. But except this time, like he already has all the abilities and shit. He just got to unlock them behind these doors that I think the Sentinels are trying to keep him from. Or alternate theory, the Sentinels are actually, they need help from something else. And they're locking Neo in there to be like, yo, you got to help us with this shit. We can't really figure this shit out without you. But they know that they have to play the Matrix game. So that's what I think is could be happening also. But I think it's most likely the first one where the Sentinels are bad again. But if, the, if it was a twist where, like, niggas had to help the Sentinels because, nigga, now we're in, uh, we're in peace as both of us working together. Right. That would make, that would be a cool twist, in my opinion. Right. But that's just my opinions <laughs> on that. But, God, Dennis, I know you got more. Um. All right. So... I'm I'm not gonna say how many times I'll fucking watch this trailer <laughs> to to uh try and piece the shit together, and I'm probably gonna be wrong anyway. But fuck it, uh, definitely that the scene with um Neil Patrick ha- uh, Harris as the uh, therapist. Yep, he's def- his point in the in the Matrix is to help keep Neo sedated. Like, Thanks, the blue pill. Exactly, because everything he does deals with blue. The shade, the the glasses are blue. All the shit in his background are blue. He has like the black cat that they mention is like a glitch in the matrix. Like when they try to insert some shit to like uh fuck fuck with your reality or whatever. He keeps giving him these blue pills to keep him sedated. Um, I feel like all the dreams that Neo has and he's telling the doctor about, it's kind of like giving info to the machines on how to help keep him sedated. Yeah. So when he's like telling them, like, you know, he's seeing all these different uh past memories and shit. They're probably using that to like warp uh reality to 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 convince him that he's that he needs them. Like he needs this therapist to keep him sedated. I do feel like uh he this this version of Neo is a new version. And well, not a new version, but he the Matrix restarted. So yeah. it's not the 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 Neo from the last one. It's still it's still the real life Neo, but in the Matrix, it's a new Neo. And I feel like he's remembering all those different things that he did in the past. Kind of like on the Eternal shit, when uh, Angelita Jolie kept remembering all the shit that she did as an Eternal in all her past lives. I feel like that's where they're headed with this shit. Uh, I feel like the reason why he went back in the Matrix is because um, Trinity stuck in there. Because if you remember from the trailer, she doesn't know him. But this was her boo. Like, this nigga was willing to sacrifice all of us <laughs> to save yeah, Shorty. Facts. He was and... like, yeah, fuck that. He was like, wait, <laughs> who's giving me vagina and who's not? <laughs> Everybody else in the world? Oh, okay. I think I'm going to save Trinity. <laughs> Thanks. Exactly. Like, when the architect was like, yo, you can save your boo? 
Or you could say he already ran ready. out the Buddha. This nigga was, he like, was like, hold on, <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. You, I ain't give you the second option. He was man. like, but hold on. <laughs> you said, I, you never said anything about flying. <laughs> and then he wilded out. Exactly. He said everything. So I do feel like somehow. That's my favorite scene. Yeah, yeah. There okay, we go. okay. That's okay, my okay. favorite scene. That's he was just scene. like, yo, fuck out of here. I'm gonna save everybody. Flew, he yeah. flew, saved his chick, saved yeah. everybody, nigga. Yeah. Real nigga <laughs> shit. Nah, so um, I do feel like she's back in the Matrix for some reason. And I don't know what that reason is. I guess that's the big plot point of the movie. But the fact that she's back in the Matrix, he went back in the Matrix to save her. Or the robots helped him because just like you said, they might be a bigger threat. Because they do show in the in the trailer. A picture of him on the ground and the matrix and the the machines inserting like the the tubes and shit into mm-hmm. him. So he's clearly not doing this on his own. They're doing. He's probably like unconscious or some shit. Yeah. And they're bringing him back into the matrix. We don't know why because the third movie was just like, yo, I'm gonna kill myself and it's gonna broke it a piece and between us. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like, why is this nigga back in the matrix? Like, what could have happened that caused them to like, we need to put this nigga back in. Like it had to be some. Crazy I mean, only shit one of the twins is making okay. oh, is okay. direct. Are you are you done? A direct yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Only one okay, of the twins ahead. is making a direct in the movie, so they will be bringing back like a lot. Of, it seems like they are bringing back like mostly everything, but I don't know if everything everything is coming back. But yeah, got Jamal. Let's start with Neo. Okay. Neo is not a real person. Okay. Okay. Can we can we agree on that or no? He's a program that was built into the Matrix. But he has a real body. No. So whose body he can, is that? No, no, no. It is his body, but it doesn't matter if he dies or not because they can just reanimate him. Okay. Yeah, no, right? we know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we can agree on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not technically... He became one with the with the program No, itself, he's always been one after. because there's always reset it. I know, but he but the last movie they established that when he finally did become one with the machines that well, I mean, we'll see now what they, what even happened. But I wanna but yeah, keep continue, going. Yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah. You go keep going, keep going. No, I wanna hear. I wanna see where this is going. Right? So Neo is already a part of the Matrix. Mm-hmm. So that so all that other shit we could tie out because he's already a part of it. So him dying and all that shit like that, committing suicide, this is a new version of Neo. He doesn't have the same memories or no shit like that. It doesn't not there, right? Yeah. So you you guys were saying he was going to find uh, Trinity or some shit like that, save her from all the stuff. That can be true, I think, but I'm not too sure about that point. Well, Speak on mean? it though. Like y- y'all were saying that. No, I'm saying. Oh, I, I, well, I'm gonna tell you why I said that because literally, uh, they show him the the robots reanimating him to put him back into the Matrix in the trailer. Exactly. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, Morpheus the. Morpheus was telling him about the the whole Matrix shit. He said, yeah. "I don't want to fight anymore." But he was like, "There's, I know there's one reason why you will keep fighting because it's still in the Matrix. The only thing that he cares about it's that could still be okay, in." Boom. The- Can we also agree that this is a Matrix, not like the other Matrixes? It's oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. we know that system. because yeah, yeah, yeah. after Revelation, they okay. said that if cool. sh- when shit uh, reanimates, it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's always gonna be different because and it's gonna be no, 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 not not even that. It's different. This is completely completely a new thing like it's not like the old matrix no i could agree with that only because yeah like they say yeah, every no. time they they yes and no. they always only because yes, they the always matrix reset. is in the matrix no but, but they don't just reset it the normal. matrix exactly so right. this was a totally different reset from the other resets this is a whole hard i reset. think every so reset is everything is out crazy yeah but in every case he came back into the same situation this well, is the seventh well, that's, iteration, so yeah. That, no, you well, see what I'm saying? But that's because what, what what I was saying is would support what you're saying. The revelation in the last movie when he act, when he became one again for the sixth time, that was a different. It was a different because thing, it yes. brokered the peace, and that's exactly. why it should be different now. But Dennis is also right because I think now thinking this, the robots have Trinity, and Trinity is a person. And if even if Neo's not a person, he's gonna want Trinity because he loves her. He's an anomaly in the system because he chose love when you're not supposed to choose love. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, yeah, it's most likely gonna be get Trinity back. But to what ends? What is happening? Like right. what? So I'm a I'm gonna agree with Gas because yeah, I get I agree ass. with what he's saying about it being a new Matrix because one of the it things is. one one thing that they say is every time the Matrix resets, they learn 
the mistakes of the last one. And it's like yeah. they try to build on that. So that's why this time he has a therapist. They're keeping tracks, track on this nigga. Like, before, they were just letting him run wild. Like, he it was, was doing like, whatever. Yeah, you he... got a job. You know, exactly. Put you in a mundane job. You exactly. Stay here. So, like, this time, it's like we have to learn from what yeah, we fucked up. definitely a different one. And do it better to keep this nigga under control. But Sidebar. go ahead, continue. Just, just to make sure we. They changed Morpheus, right? Morpheus is not this, played by the same person. The only way they can sell that concept is if it's literally like a totally, like he's still the same him, just in a different body. But they can, yes. He was So he was yes. also built in yes. to the Matrix. But what yeah. they can You see say, what I'm saying? But hold on. Like a lot of these people don't technically have, they don't, they're not. Nah, he has a robot. Morpheus has a robot. They're not humans. This, Mor- this Morpheus doesn't. They're yeah. not humans in the sense of birthed regularly. They're they're synthetic. You understand what but, I'm saying? No, I that's understand. Why, that's why I'm saying it's a, a... When I say it's a younger version, I don't mean it's an actual younger human version. I mean, like, when the shit reset, they're going to have another Morpheus. Okay, they're just so, going to need a, a younger version, I guess. And I, maybe Neo I, meets him earlier. I feel like Gash just, just, yeah. just led me down an, another rabbit hole. So I feel like I'm agreeing with him that it's a new Matrix. And judging from the trailer... They've only showed two people actually exist the people, in, yeah. in the fucking Matrix and, uh, and exist Trinity in the real and, world. And that's Trinity and, and Neo. Neo. Everyone else, we've just seen the Matrix versions. And of we know that there's some people that were born actually in the place. Like, exactly. Yeah. Not yeah. synthetic. So, so I feel like this new version of the Matrix is literally just a prison for Neo. Like I don't feel like and anyone Trinity, else. Probably. Yeah, I don't feel like anyone else technically. I feel like exists. there's only two people in that chamber that they showed. Exactly. The, there's the only only two people in this new Matrix world. But then because that's... Morpheus doesn't really exist because in the trailer they showed like a synthetic like uh machines making a body. Okay, so do you think? So okay, so if so I, now if I go with everything that y'all are saying, do you think? This is gonna be crazy, but do you think there's no more humans left, and those are the only t- and Trinity is the only one, and the only reason why they're trying to keep Neo in there so that Trinity stays in there, and if Trinity goes, then there's no people, and then now it's just only robots. Do you think the robots want to keep like a human alive? They they definitely want to keep humans alive because they were using us as batteries. But that's what I'm saying. Do you think that Matt like there's it's only Trinity? No, you want to keep I, control of people. Neo. So how do you do that with Trinity? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think there's a lot of people left. I think that's also another thing. That's why the robots are probably being this dire to bring back Neo and what you call it. Probably, I pro- probably uh, the the other pods that we saw, either those people died or like they're like babies being born and because the robots are doing a lot. Yeah, they're doing like it, it seems because they show like the abandoned city or whatever that might have been Zion. I don't know. Like I don't know what that shit was. But I feel like whatever the the essence of the plot is whatever is going on with Trinity. Like I don't know what that is. Like why they? Because she had powers in the fucking trailer. Like she was using like little force beams and shit. Like she never was able yeah. to do that before. So I don't know what it is about her. Do you think the the power the love is it might be the power, power love, love type shit, but like <laughs> it might be the love between. Do you think that the love between Neo and Trinity is enough to power up the Matrix? So that's why they have only them two in the shit. And like the robots are like, we don't really even need other people. Like as long as we have them in these I, things. I like, feel like good. they're close. I feel like whatever is going on with those two, they got to keep them separate from the other pods. Yeah. Like I don't know if it's because like, because you remember in, I think it's the third or the second. Yeah. Neo was able to use his powers in real life. Yeah. In Zion or whatever, like to a certain extent. So I feel like whatever it is that they use to keep him sedated and keep him away from the other pods, they have to do that now with Trinity. So that's yeah. why they only had those two pods separate from where all the other pods are. I don't know what the reason is. I don't know. Maybe it's because of her interaction with him. The same way like Agent Smith got his powers because he interacted with Neo. Maybe because remember when he jumped into him in the first movie, that's when he became different in the second one. And that's how he became like more of a virus or whatever. 
True. Maybe I the still same believe shit. that little girl is the future of everything. Right? She is. She, she's gonna she, I think she's an adult everything. in the shit. Yeah, I think she's being played by um. There's what's like shorty's a, name? A woman. I forgot with, her name. Uh, real we'll see red it. glasses. Yeah, in the movie. I know. And that's then a there's fact. The therapist yeah. with the blue glasses in the movie, and I feel like that's the contrast between the Matrix and the real world. I think that little girl grew up to that lady. Yeah, that lady. Yeah, exactly honestly, like be whack that. as fuck if they they throw her out of there and they don't <clears> keep going with that storyline. Because no, they are hyped it up so much. They are. She's in it. Yeah, I, she's, yeah. she's the, in it. I feel like she grew up to be the new Oracle. Like, because she was with the Oracle when she was a little girl in the third one or the second one or whatever. And she's going to be a difference maker. She, she, yeah. She's so much more powerful than Oracle, though. Yeah. I mean, like, well, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Bro, she grew I up mean, to she, she just like be you the, said. The more powerful Oracle. She'd be yeah, the next just, one. Just, just like you said, like the Matrix is different now. So I feel like whatever was going on with her as a kid, she has a more important role now. Because they would have never introduced introduced that girl in that second movie for no and, reason. And the trailer. They hyped it up. And, and, oh, go ahead, go ahead. And in the trailer, like that lady seemingly doesn't really have a position anywhere. She just popped up. She has red glasses, which is the contrast to. Neil Good. Patrick Harris with uh-huh. blue glasses, and I was just like, and she also symbolism. Has, she also has the book. She has, she the, has the book. She's, yeah. she's. I feel like in in terms of everything, she would be technically the new Neil. Like she she she's gonna be that powerful throughout the whole thing. We'll see. That that's what I'm saying. Like if they don't go with we'll that, because that's how they was building it up, literally. I feel. I feel. Like, I mean, her being the the code doesn't really make her the one. I do it's get not what making you're her the one. It's she's an anomaly, the new entity within the whole system, right? So, what what are they gonna do with that storyline? Are they just gonna pass right by it? Or they, they might gonna... uh, do some like spinoff shit or some other. You see shit? what I'm saying? Like, nah, they, they, I don't honestly in this shit. If they make somebody more powerful than Neo, then Neo, there's no point in really having Neo in the movie. Unless he's like just only a mentor, and this is a Keanu Reeves movie, so I get what you're saying. Because honestly, yes, that makes the perfect sense. Because they did say like she is the future. This is the next. This is the next code. Like she's like, we have to make sure she's good. Like even above the. I put so much effort. In so that. Like, I do feel like she has a very important. role. She has an important role. She's gonna. She's gonna pop back up. She might even be a child again. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I, like, nah, I'm with you. I do feel like she, she might be she that grew, older lady with the red glasses. I do, to be honest. I, yeah, no, I feel like she grew up to be that lady, and she replaced the original Oracle. She's probably way more powerful. She's she's like more. She's not a player anymore. She's more like she's one probably of the, the answer. She's probably one of the main pieces, like the like the architect, and they watch I over the Matrix she, now. That's, mm, she's that's probably the answer. But I don't like she's Neo. Neo's role is always Neo's role. She's probably the answer. Like she's all. They're always gonna re. Boot with a Neo, and he um, he has that same role, and all these other anomalies like they play like a bigger, and he just has to do his thing to, I don't know, like lead them into whatever the fuck they they're supposed to do. But I'm with you, like she has a role, like they didn't introduce this character for like no reason in the second movie, and he his job was to protect her to get onto the train, all that work, like, all that shit, mad work. That's it meant I'm something. Saying. It meant something. So I feel like that's gonna come into play now. They're gonna they're gonna bring it up. She's probably going to be the one that helps him realize that he is you in the fucking... Uh, yeah, you're in the sim- Yeah. Like, but, you don't remember me, but I remember you when I was a kid. You protected me. Exactly. Now I'm about to do something for you. Yeah, and I'm going to wake you up. Because she, she had the Alice book, which, you know, is the symbolism of uh, falling down the rabbit hole or whatever. So yeah. I do feel like, just like you said, her being red, her being the, the symbolism, she's like literally the manifestation of the red pill. Facts. So I do feel like that means... Something, I mean, it's the Matrix, so it's going to be impossible to guess before actually seeing the actual movie. But yeah, niggas I do gonna hope, shoot. Though, I hope we're right though. I hope they do like <laughs> she's that is shoot. her and she's like an important key to the shit because they did make him do mad shit for, for this child. little girl. Yeah, especially how it tied into like the dude with the suit, um, mm-hmm. the Mera, whatever. I don't, yeah, he had the a crazy Mar- ass name. Mariam, uh, yeah, whatever they they called. <laughs> Exactly. I know what you're saying him and Persephone. Yeah, and they kept trying to like stop the girl. I think the they girl. showed them when he snapped. Yeah, I think they, that I mean, thing, they didn't that, show that the nigga face, but they just showed a nigga snapping and a shorty behind them. Yeah, and I was like, I think those are the new baddies. Yeah, I, I feel like that's the new um the dude that was at the end and he was like, yo, going back to the Matrix. I feel like it's the same dude because he also had the suit on, so maybe he's the new version of the Mera. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all I know is the world was all black and white and like. Ride out, and then it was just mad clear after she's there sitting with the Oracle. So, hey, we, we don't know. 
Exactly. We'll we'll we going. We just shooting. <laughs> we just shooting. We yeah, some going stick. That's a new matrix being created right there, possibly. Yeah, like also, the Bing Bang type thing. Uh, oh yeah, you asked this earlier, but that shit is mad funny that I always thought about how the matrix. Like sometimes you forget it's assimilation because then they have like ghosts and they have like vampires and yeah. shit, and you're just like, oh, <laughs> niggas can kind of do whatever they want here. Yeah, mm-hmm. but no one really takes advantage of it unless they're like open to like see what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I think do, that's some freaky shit. Do we? What would? <laughs> okay, so obviously, if you are aware of the matrix, <laughs> there is no limits. Exactly, there is no bounds. What are you doing in the Matrix? Like your like your first day of knowing no bounds in the Matrix. God damn! What are you gonna do? <laughs> you can literally do anything. I might Nigga just probably take flight. Nigga, you gonna fly? You gonna fly? That's the first thing you're gonna do. I might just walk onto like the next court and just like dunk on somebody or some shit. Like just some random, just like in the middle of a game. Like it could be tied. Steal the ball. Yeah, just do some crazy shit. It'd be like, yo, just dunk from the three point line. The ball. <laughs> steal the ball from somebody. Steal the ball from LeBron. Dunk Hell from the yeah. three point line, nigga, on Anthony Davis. And just leave. And then just dip, nigga. Just, and then fly through the ceiling. <laughs> yo, uh, the, uh, the arena, nigga. Fly through Madison Square. Just break yeah. through the top. And you know that, like, when the nigga flies, like, there's bad after damage. Yep. So like, people gonna fly in the air. And shit, yo, it's gonna be lit. I'm gonna be in the newspaper. I'll be honest, shit. I'm up to no good for real. I'm Man, like, mischievous. I am going to the ops immediately. <laughs> we fly into the ops and we fly through your house at supersonic speeds over and over and over again. Shit is crazy. We wilding. We really wilding. I'm gonna throw a boat, just a big ass boat. We're gonna this find the, J- the JP Morgan Coke boat <laughs> and we're gonna throw that shit in the space. All right, so 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 here's a, a um some shit. When you come to the realization that the matrix that you're in the matrix, how you gonna feel when you find out all these years of your life that you've been eating pizza that's not real? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yo, are you going to be like my son that betrayed the team? Are you going to want to be inserted <laughs> back into the Matrix? Because you're going to have to wake up and eat cold potatoes, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> like, like grow, What are you, you going to do? <laughs> All the necessary minerals and proteins. <laughs> minerals and proteins, nigga. That shit don't even taste like nothing. You just eat, nigga. Just, it just tastes like, so are you, like sustenance. So if you had the opportunity and they were like, yo, you can betray your whole squad. And go back to the Matrix. Nah, I wouldn't betray the squad. <laughs> it's crazy. I'd be fucking pissed in like the real world all the time. I'd be fucking pissed. Like I'd really be pissed. I'd also be the first nigga that'll volunteer to go into the Matrix anytime <laughs> there's like a mission. First nigga. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we gotta go hit a pizzeria, my boy. <laughs> Once we get there, we gotta hit a pizzeria, my boy. They're like, yo, what's good with you? Yo, my pal, let me just think of a pizza. And they get a pizza in my hand, be like, yo. I miss this shit, son. Because I feel like you're going to have to do that because you can't keep going to the fucking pizzeria because the machine's going to get smart and right. be like, yo, we just got to wait for this nigga. They're going to try to trap me. <laughs> nah, yeah. They're going to try to trap me. I can't even go into pizzerias, nigga. That shit whack. <laughs> nah, yeah. I wouldn't betray the oh, gang, no, for shit. that shit. That shit is whack. That shit is whack, son. Imagine. <laughs> Yo, imagine, imagine son. That should be terrible, son. All your if, people like, in real life, like, like, yo, I can't believe this nigga betrayed us. And you asleep like, somewhere eating I'm digital dead. pizza, nigga. It's mad crazy how, like, if you just woke up from the like the Matrix for real one day and like you used to just go and be like, yo, what kind of food y'all got? <laughs> and they like, yo, do you know every food you've ever ate in the Matrix don't exist? <laughs> Nigga, we just drank this this uh, silver liquid, nigga, <laughs> and we good. <laughs> what? What it tastes like? It don't taste like nothing. It's just everything we need for our body. I'd be like, yo, wait, what? <laughs> Y'all shitting me, right? Y'all got apples, raisins. Nah, none of that shit is real. We made all of that shit up for the Matrix, man. The, the machines are smart, nigga. They, they know how to keep us in there. I'd be like, oh, my God. Did I make a mistake? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, okay, shit. okay. Y- you get unplugged from the Matrix. Whoa, okay. whoa. You find out food not real, <laughs> right? Okay. You find out like music's not real. Like a lot of the shit that you Everything, like only yeah. enjoy not real. And on top of that, no one has genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go back? <laughs> 
Oh shit! Now do you go a, back? That's that's, a, that's that's some tough shit, bro. Do you go back? <laughs> and if you go back, you're not gonna hurt nobody, right? You get what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But they need people out there <laughs> to fight off. Okay, but but or here's, to, but here, do, here's my counter question though. Now, what is the point of waking everybody up if we can't reproduce to make new ones? They so they have like, else, they have some type of way die. to do that. They have some type of way to do that. They have some type of way to do that. It's like some blood shit and they, they incubate the baby, some bullshit. I'm gonna just make up some fake technology right now so that like I can stop. Nigga, you. T- nigga technology. Niggas food food don't exist, but they have that technology. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause cause they only take what's important. If you need sustenance, you're gonna drink this silver fluid. Nigga, if we need to have a baby, we got an incubation machine, nigga. Right here, right. Oh shit, that's hilarious. I nigga, yeah. I feel like put me back. Nigga. Yeah, Y'all can take saying, my like, blood while I'm asleep, yo, nigga. Man. While I'm in the simulation, like, take I'm my tr- blood. I'm trying to find the 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 white the silver lining in me being. The oh other, well, like, actually, if you stay out, you protect the people that's in the matrix for like another thousand years. Like just just for you, like if you just for you being out and shit, like you just get to. I guess see another generation of people like kind of get I guess be comfortable in a lie. Put me back to sleep, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> put me back to sleep, nigga. I'm, I'm good. I I am here for a good time, not a long time. That's what I'm saying. Like you know what I'm saying. I gotta and get like, back. If, I gotta if the get Matrix is really hot, nigga. Pizza. Y'all make us live forever. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> give, get me back to my digital fries, digital uh, uh fucking podcast. Like, put me to sleep, son. That's like, crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't see the benefit. Hey, I just thought of some crazy shit. I'm going to say it out loud. Okay. What What if our lives (laughs) is basically like a Matrix jail sentence? (laughs) Wow. Like, and then at the end of it, we just wake back up. That's And we go back to like drinking silver fluid and shit. (laughs) And fighting to keep the other niggas alive for the next thousand years. I just thought, like, that's crazy. Because we don't know what happens when we die. Yo, nah, that's some and, scary like, shit, bro. That's fucking nuts. So imagine, imagine you just like, whole nigga, life. you guilty. <laughs> we gonna send you to Earth as a nigger. <laughs> Experience racism. Experience racism. <laughs> Enjoy that for destroying a planet. Here you go. You gonna live till you 85. Like, while out. So, Yo. Damn. Yo, you know how pissed I would be if I lived until like 85, 90, and then I think I die and I wake up and I'm a teenager fighting in a war? Fighting Yo. in a war to keep a bunch of niggas in the simulation good. I wonder how many people... I would turn to crime to go back. That Maybe that's how reincarnation works. Yo, that's some scary shit, like, bro. Do you want to go back? Absolutely. <laughs> no, we're going to send you back as some random uh, white baby. Here you go. Yo. Enjoy. <laughs> and imagine if the whole time you're in the simulation, like your whole 95 years is like an hour in Yo, the real world. that would be nuts. <laughs> and whatever that's crime nuts. you did, they sentence you for that hour, but it feels like a lifetime. It feels like a lifetime. That's some scary shit, bro. That's some scary <laughs> shit. The Matrix deadass made us believe that shit. Yo. The Matrix is fucking nuts. <laughs> they was like, yeah, you at your job? No, nigga, run. <laughs> Somebody calls you like, run. You're like, wait, what the fuck? Yo, that scene is also mad funny. Somebody <laughs> just calls you while you're at your job. They coming for you, man. What? Boy, yo, wait. What? Who playing yo, on my duck. phone? <laughs> duck. Word. You duck. I run to the next door. Like, yo. what the what the fuck? Who is this? Why are you doing this? And you following it? They're like, thank you for following this. Yo, imagine. Now we're going to wake you up yo. to eat the silver fluid, nigga. Let's do it. At least you actually have genitals in, the, in Zion, nigga. Yo, imagine if... That happens to you in the real world, and you hang up. You're like, yo, stop playing on my, stop phone. my phone. And it re- it literally has to reset the matrix because you fucked up. You like, fucked up. <laughs> now you got to do it all over again. Stop playing on my fucking phone and you hang up. That's you, crazy. You literally just killed off all of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. At least I get to eat pizza. Feel me? Yo, nah, that's some funny ass shit. That's man. fucking hilarious. Yo, nah, I'm thinking about that for real. Like, imagine, son. Like, nah, that simulation shit is crazy. It's scary a little bit. Yo, I would be pissed off if I've been going to work my whole life for no fucking reason. For no man. reason. Why? For no ass reason. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm going to sleep somewhere. Like, what? Like, oh, yeah, all the people you knew don't exist. <laughs> none of them. Absolutely none of them. Actually, Dennis exists. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, shit, lit, 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 lit. What are you, my family? <laughs> oh, they exist, too. Yo, you sure? Oh, shit, and they'd be like, man. I don't know. I don't know. You, uh, 
They be like, nigga, here's your here's your flarp now, gun. <laughs> Go fight that thousand year war, nigga. <laughs> I, was, I remember like a, a fuck. I think it was the first movie when they was talking about how like they crafted the Matrix, which was some like real deep shit. Where they were like, the original Matrix was a paradise for everybody. Mm. Like whatever you imagine Makes to be sense. perfect, they made that for everybody. But it didn't work because everybody's brains rejected the idea of a perfect world. Oh, that makes sense. And Everybody's why, so different. Yeah, and they were like, you know what? Since we can't make it perfect, they made it like this. So it has, like, you will believe this shit to be real. Like, there's racism. I hate and, this. Yo, <laughs> I hate this conversation yeah. so much. <laughs> like, imagine that. Like, humans are so, like, humans don't even want perfection. They, they want don't. this shit. We don't. We want bullshit. So, this like, you, bullshit. Want, you want shit to be stressed about. You want, like, they gave us this and you were like, okay, I'll still sleep in this. Ain't that some foul shit? Like, <laughs> it's just like, I love lobster, but you know what I hate? <laughs> Black people. Like, what the fuck? Yo. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> it's some wild shit when you think about it, son. Like, yo, they were like, yo, we're going to create the perfect world for everyone. And niggas was asleep like, no, this is not going to work for me. And I don't they- like this. <laughs> I don't like all this perfection. I yeah, want issues. Went, yeah, I, I want, want problems. I want things to complain about. Like, yeah, yo. <laughs> yo, hey, humans are throw crazy, me, son. Throw me in paradise, nigga. <laughs> I want to be there. That shit is fire. That should sound fire to me. Yo, Stress me living, crazy, nigga. Man. I don't got to worry about nothing. No, yo. I don't know, man. I would trade a lot for peace, man. Yo. And I don't know if, if, but a lot of people don't want that. And I've realized that's, that a that's lot of what I'm saying. Don't like that. niggas really want straight chaos. Like, like I've I've realized through this time in the pandemic and me just being in a crib and me doing different creative shit and ventures and shit that mm-hmm. like, nigga, I love peace. Yeah, like that shit is fire. And like, but here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. The truth, and now we're getting back to the Matrix. Yeah, let's the go. The truth let's go. is not peaceful. Mm. And there's no, I don't think there's no sense of, like, true. Well, you can make your, you have to make your own meaning of your life. Yeah. And I believe that the Matrix does kind of teach you that through the journey of Neo. Okay. Because, like, yes, there are preordained things. Mm-hmm. But yes, there can be anomalies. Yeah. And you can be the anomaly of your life and you can make the choices for yourself. There be that being said, okay. If you trade everything for peace, there are going to be times where it's not going to be peaceful. Yeah. Cuz that's just a constant of the world that not everything just works out like it's going to. You just got to make the best of it. And that's like pretty much kind of like my philosophy on life cuz you know, sometimes I do think that shit is shit is a shit is a simulation. Sometimes I am like, this shit is real. But then you also got to realize that everyone's different and perception is everything. So people's yeah. perception of shit is different. So technically, we are all living in a simulation yeah. together, yeah. which is fucking you, crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. Like, so kind of going on what you just said, I do feel like, uh, and this goes back to like the beginning when you were talking about like COVID and shit. Mm-hmm. It kind of ties into what I was just saying about with the, with the fucking Matrix. Like, we could have all just worn mask and do all the, the regulation mm-hmm. shit and then it would it wouldn't have been a perfect world but it would have been better than what we have and niggas was just like no I decided <laughs> like, I just that I'm d- oppressed you know? <laughs> I am oppressed stop I... oppressing me and I, I like <sighs> and I just, yeah, I'm not ahead. the guy that's gonna make fun of people for like shit like that because at the end of the day you should have a choice to do whatever the fuck you want to do and that's right. like what I truly and really believe in but like you know cooperation is also a thing and exactly. I feel like some people, you know, they just don't want to cooperate. And I get it. But fuck, man. <laughs> Makes shit so much more difficult. But, but I, do f- I do feel like that is like a loose, like loosely based on like the whole Matrix situation. where Because yeah. he was just like, yo, we can give you a perfect world. Granted, like I said, even if we all took the vaccine and everyone was okay, it's, the world's still fucked up. But it's a better world than what we have now. And niggas was just like, you know what? Nah, I'm, I'm good on that. I'm going to actually not take it. And I'm gonna let shit mutate. <laughs> yeah, and, and we gonna have the dis- Marion variant. Yeah, you know what I mean. Wild. <laughs> we got the Transformer variant. Like that shit is crazy. Son, it was just like yo, like they tried. So I feel like the Matrix was clearly ahead of its time. <laughs> Too ahead of its time because <laughs> it, it definitely nailed the whole idea of humanity not wanting perfection or wanting better for you itself. Reject it, man. Yeah, like we always reject. But then again, what is perfection, man? Like mm, I, I okay, understand, okay. like we 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 go to robots and AIs and we want everything perfectly done. But like we've almost never really seen perfection. We make up what perfection is because I don't think 
again, per- perspective is everything. And what I might think is perfect, a lot of people probably won't. That's what true. Someone That's true. else thinks it's perfect, a lot of people probably won't. I know we like to say numbers are perfect, and they are, because numbers, like, they'll it's, always be a absolute. constant when it comes to yeah. it, and it's absolute. But to say that, like, yo, robots know better because they can crunch numbers at, like, this speed is crazy because, nigga, there's also feelings and shit involved. Yeah, I was just about to say that. an like, important part of and, a lot of shit. Because that ties into, like, what I was talking about earlier with, uh, I, I felt like Ultron being underrated because he was supposed to be, like, a perfect robot. And in his mind, after he analyzed the Earth, he figured the only way to make peace is just to kill all humans. Yeah. <laughs> and he might be right on a basic black and white level, yep. but... Feelings, nigga, and emotions. You're killing everyone off. Like, <laughs> like, how does that help? That doesn't fix the problem. It fixes I mean, maybe the problem, for the robots, fix- maybe yeah. for the robots in the earth and shit. I guess, like that, <laughs> that. I mean, that makes sense. But even beyond then, with all the damage that's already done, like, what's getting like how? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I do get again, perfection is that. It's one of those things that's just like, nigga, we're not going to get that. Like, just get as close as you can. And then, like, that's it, nigga. Don't actually seek perfection because that is a never-ending battle. And that's, like, to set yourself up. I mean, it, as long as you can you can acknowledge that, I feel like you don't have to be perfect. Facts. But you can use that goal of trying to be perfect as a way to constantly evolve. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you you know you'll never be perfect. But just like you said, you can get close by constantly trying because whatever perfection is, no one's ever going to attain it. But you can use that as a way to set a goal for yourself. Like, okay, I'm not going to be the best basketball player of all time, but I could be better than I was yesterday. Like, I could improve and I don't know, like, maybe I make two more shots today and then tomorrow I make two more shots. Like, you can still improve yourself and use the idea of perfection as a way to chase that as a way to, you know, evolve yourself, but you'll never, you're not going to hit a hundred shots out of a hundred fucking shots. Like that's never going to happen for you. True. So yeah, no, nah, I fuck with that. Um, you got any worthies? I feel like we kind of, we went uh, down the rabbit hole and all that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it got heavy, man. Fuck. <laughs> I fuck with it though. No, I, I like fuck it, with it. Though. I, I, I like think- it. Uh, what am I? What's my worthy? The little girl in the Matrix, Sati. Okay, uh, Sati. She, she's 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 definitely fucking worthy because she's the future. She should be the future. Hopefully, they bring her back. The Wachowski sisters. Yeah. Because you know, was but up. Yeah, they got shit. Yo, they got some crazy minds just to take us here, bro. Yeah, they fucking fire. <laughs> uh, am I gonna thank them? <laughs> Who you gonna thank? I'm gonna thank them. Who? And I actually have beef with them. Okay. WB. <laughs> okay. Good job for bringing us back. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's something that I, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, and this conversation, man, and uh, and gas. I, I like to say gas is very much worthy because Always worthy. Matrix knowledge is crazy right now. Yeah. I like love, it. Love to see it. <laughs> love to hear it. We got this nigga talking in this episode. Nah, he, he likes shit like this. Yeah. He likes the deep, the deep conversations. I like it. We fucking with it. <laughs> this was the gas episode today. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Were these? Let me see. Uh, Morpheus glasses, the fucking balance. Facts. This thing is fucking amazing. Even though technically balance doesn't exist in the Matrix, that's some, we. I'm not even gonna start. Um, Jada Pinkett's uh, bad two knots. <laughs> she Facts. made sure she made them shits nice. You know what's crazy? I'm gonna definitely cop them shits to watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> she made them shits mad nice. Um, the red pill, nigga, wake up. Um. Everything I said about Boba Fett, that's worthy. <laughs> uh, Agent Smith, I mean, I know he's he's probably not going to come back for this because they didn't show him at all. And I don't remember seeing him when I Google like the cast and shit. But I fuck with him as a villain, like just overall. Like I like his his, uh, his story arc, how it fucked him up in the end. Like, oh shit, I really was right. Because it kind of gave you like, you know when, when they say like, what happens when the villain gets what the villain wants? Yeah. He got what he want. He freaked out. Dead ass. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? And that he wanted crazy. this shit the whole time. So I, I, I do feel like that's kind of like, it kind of gives people that that idea of like, oh, when a villain wants to take over the world, what happens next? Like, you took over the world. It was a million fucking Smiths. Like, you won, nigga. Like, what happens now? And he was yeah. just confused. So I, I do like how they, how they, uh, they literally let him win. Um, do I have any other worthies? Uh, the Wachowskis. 
definitely like i don't know what's what kind of, like i'd like to have a conversation with them because they got some twisted minds bro the, yeah i'm fucking see, with it i'm trying to hear it. i'm trying to hear what they what they really wanted from the matrix yes like i'm i, I know they probably had mad other plans that wb probably didn't allow them to do i want to hear like what what they had planned if they was to do another like trilogy after are they gonna do you think they're gonna no I feel it's possible. Resurrection, they probably could do a trilogy I like, again. I feel like it's but possible. But then they would have to bring Shorty, like Jamal said. But yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, one thing we did not cover in the entire episode, and I uh I definitely read it because it, it turned out it was uh it was true, was so. they tied the matrix into their coming out as uh oh, transgenders. They were that's like popping. Yeah, they were like, um, and I don't want to get the whole thing wrong. So you're probably if you're listening to this, you're probably gonna have to Google it. But the idea was um, Neo. Neo was someone that was who he was as as uh, Neo versus uh, Thomas Anderson was. It was like a different part of him that had to come out. So, like for them, like the symbolism behind it's him being, being anti-establishment type of thing. Yeah, and so I fuck with it. And him being me, like being reborn as Neo was like them being the Wachowski brothers. And they were, you know, they kept inside of them the entire time they felt like women. And that's how they became that's uh, transgender. So it's not even like I'm shooting shooting for this one. Like, this is literally them explaining how that's they popping. tie. I'm going to look that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to definitely look that up. That was, uh, that was some really flash shit. That's hot. So. That's hot. <laughs> that ass. Definitely shout out to the uh, Wachowski sisters. Um, and finally, just the holidays. I mean, by the time you hear this, like I said, it'll be like the week of fucking Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mom. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Mom. Mom, Mom. Christmas, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this has been another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans, providing you with that high quality nerd commentary. Subscribe, leave a review, tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, follow us on Discord, uh, follow the Twitter, jump on the YouTube. I mean, do all that shit, support. You can find me on every social media site as Old Dirty Dennis, O L D I R T Y D E N N I S. You can find my man Colton. You can find me on Twitter as The Night Deviant. Night Deviant. T H E N I G H T D E V I A N T. There you go. Oh, shit. That shit rhymes. That shit kind of fire. Bars. And The Colton Show and everywhere else. Like, so TikTok, Instagram. And I also have TheColtonShow.com. There's merch. Go to the shop, buy my merch. And um, do you want me to take yeah, it send, away send us home? Send, send us, send us back. Wake two. us up with this quote. I have two. I have two. <laughs> this is the wake us up quote. Guns, lots of guns. <laughs> Who said it? Neo. I have the second one. <laughs> okay. I know kung fu. <laughs> also, Neo. <laughs> Some of the greatest lines that he's ever like uh, spit with no emotions. At that. Word. <laughs> Yo, we out. <laughs>